everyone, it is Ashley here and I am so excited to be bringing you this video today because I see this question asked a lot and I myself before starting my third business really dove into asking Google this question as well, which is Wix versus Shopify. Let's go ahead and get right into it. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for checking it out. Um, I am a serial entrepreneur and I have started three, four, if you count my Airbnb businesses over the last five years. I've learned just so, so, so much and I'm trying to document it all in this latest endeavor, which is my candle business called Upside Goods Company. It's my first real go at running a product-based business and so I decided this time with my marketing background to really just document my experience here as well as share some industry knowledge that I know behind the scenes that I do with my marketing business and I'm just really excited to share this with you guys today. So I'm hopefully going to help you whittle down some questions that you might have in regards to which website platform should I be using. So like I said today we're going to talk specifically about Wix and Shopify and so some of you it might just be a clear-cut answer for me it wasn't so that's why I wanted to do this video especially for all my candle makers out there um, if you're new to just this product-based industry and not really sure where to start but know that you have the talent that you want to share this video will be very helpful for you I wanted to break it down into a few different realms of understanding between the two platforms and which one to decide that's best for you and I just wanted to share that some things that I am used to, I have three websites already built on Wix. My candle business is the first one that I've had built on Shopify. So, and in most of my clients that I get with my marketing business, I build their platforms on Wix. Unless now if someone were to come to me and they had a specific e-commerce niche, I'd probably put them in the Shopify realm. But at the end of this video, hopefully you will understand which one I would recommend would be the best for you. And I'm going to give you some hints along the way. All right. So the first thing that I wanted to just get straight out of the gate is Wix is completely available to do e-commerce. I know Shopify has kind of been the conglomerate and kind of this like gigantic like force out there. Wix can very much do a lot of the same things that Shopify can. But there are some clear differentiators, but the first and foremost thing that I know a lot of people always want to know is like, what's the cost going to be to me? And especially as a small business or new business owner, these expenses come in and they're just so overwhelming because you might not even launch your product or your business yet, but you're already having to fork over money um, that you're not getting in profits to pay for. So it's really daunting and scary. Wix has gone up in price over the years that I've used it. I remember when I would kind of when I first started my yoga business, um, I think I paid like $129 for a year, which was just crazy. And that's, those days are gone. Um, I did look up before I started filming this video that you can get a basic e-commerce plan for $23 a month with Wix. And that's actually a lot more than I thought it was going to be because I think even when I looked at this, it was cheaper and I will say Wix does offer a lot of promos every once in a while so maybe just keep your eyes out on that you can always build your website as like a free template and then wait and then they will send you like hey upgrade your account and pay for it and then they release all the ownership to you so that's one thing you can do Shopify I believe it's like $30 a month I, I get paid I get billed $31 and 29 cents a month and that's for a basic plan. I have not bought any templates. Um, that's just out of the gate. So I wanted to get the pricing over to you guys just so you know where we're talking about apples to apples. I feel like it's very comparable. There's a lot of scenarios with this video that I'm gonna share that it's actually apples and oranges. So I'll try and make that differentiation for you guys. Pricing's done with, let's move on. Next thing I wanted to talk about was the ease of use. So the way that I have explained things in the past for my marketing clients, Whenever I build them a website, whether it's just a website for information or e-commerce, I will usually, usually and probably will still going forward, recommend Wix for them. Reason being is the ease of use. Wix is by far easier to use than it is Shopify. Now, if you consider yourself tech savvy and able to kind of navigate 
the rough waters of where would this be or how do I edit this. Just a disclaimer, I do not know how to code. I know enough to get by to be dangerous and that's from a lot of trial and error and a lot of time that people usually don't have. Especially when they're hiring me to do their website, the usual reason is because they don't have time. So for ease of use, what I would suggest is Wix by far. Um, if you can edit a Word document, you can edit Wix templates and they have so many that you can choose from. Now, going back to price, which I said, Wix is cheaper by a few dollars monthly, but the thing that they beat Shopify on is that all of their templates are out there and they're free. So you don't have to buy a template like you do with Shopify. Now, disclaimer, you can use Shopify's free templates. I think there's like three or four of them. I'm using a free one right now, but I'm getting ready to upgrade to a template because it's just so bare bones and brass tacks, it's boring. So Shopify, I believe it's like $180 is where their templates start. So that is where a difference will come in with cost outside of your monthly payments to either of these platforms. But still, Wix holds the candle here, <laughs> pun intended, that they are killing it with their design templates and their ease of use and editing. So if you love to design, you love to brand, you love to make a unique look for your business, the ease of use is gonna go to Wix for that. Now Shopify, again, I'm still on a free template so I might be the wrong person to ask about this. It's hard. One thing from Shopify, it's gonna come in a cost and it's gonna come in a knowledge base. For ease of use, absolutely, it goes to Wix. Hands down, sorry Shopify. Shopify is easy in some regards and there's a lot of plug and chug and things that are simple like they give you privacy policies to work off of and return policies and things like that that you can already have as a template. But I will say if you can't code or don't know how to code, Shopify becomes really, really tough if you're not using a free template. So let me just break this down real quick with templates. So if you have a business, let's say my candle business, I go on Wix, I type in what kind of template I want, an e-commerce business, and it'll give me all these different templates that I can completely design from scratch or design from said template and just insert my fonts and my colors and everything like that. Wix hands down crushes it at that. Shopify, they have templates, but they only have about like five or six that are free, and everything after that you have to pay for that template. I believe it's only a one-time fee. I'm still on the free world because I'm budgeting. Shopify has it where you can get a free one or you can pay, I believe the minimum price is $180 and it goes up from there, and you can insert their template and then kind of plug and chug a little bit more from there. Hands down in this category from a design capability, it absolutely goes to Wix. Now what I will say is that any sort of like little tweaks or little like even just moving a button over or placement, Wix again just absolutely crushes it. You have so much flexibility. Shopify drives me insane. I, I literally, I don't get why it's not easier. I think that they're trying to just pigeonhole a part of the market that maybe I'm just not a part of. I don't know you guys. Design capabilities and ease of use, Wix, 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 Wix all day. Shopify, you can get by, but I will say if you have someone or if you are someone that knows how to code, that's gonna be definitely a leg up and I would probably vote Shopify on that one just because of the back end power of the platform. The other thing I wanted to talk about is reporting. Um, if you know me and if you followed my channel for a little while, you know that I love marketing and I love all things ROI, results, results, results. Shopify absolutely crushes Wix in regards to reporting. They have financial summaries that you can literally whittle down so much, see how much product you're turning over, you can have projections, you have all of the things and live reporting on Shopify. Now, I haven't done this on Wix in a few months, so if this has changed at the time of this video release, I apologize, but I have not seen anything like I've been able to find with reporting on Shopify available on Wix. There are definitely reports on Wix that are available, but at the end of the day, Shopify reigns king and this one and absolutely gets my vote. The last thing I wanted to share with you guys before I give you my overall, this is what you need to do roadmap of picking Shopify versus Wix. The last thing I wanted to talk about was customer service. And I have a bone to pick. I have a bone to pick with Shopify. 
When I first started on my trial period of Shopify, testing the waters, seeing if I wanted to run my e-commerce site on their platform, I had so many questions and so many issues that I was running into. It was not easy, and I built websites on Wix before, no problem, done it on Square, even done it on WordPress, and I was getting really, really mystified on how to do certain things in Shopify. I contacted their customer support, and at the beginning of it, I think I was on, I was doing chat, and I had so many questions, and they literally just stopped answering. They literally were like, we can't help you. Sorry, your time is up. So I guess Shopify has this thing with customer service where if you're on a free trial, because I was still at that point, or if you are maybe not one of their like over $30 a month members, they cut you off on customer service and just send you to their help forum. Which if you're like me, I'm sorry, but there could be a help support section forum of your website that is vast, but every once in a while there are simply questions that you need answered that aren't available on there. I can't be the only one of this. Maybe I am. Maybe I just word my questions wrong and they come up invalid and nothing is searched for them. I don't know, but it's really frustrating. So I was literally about to throw in the towel on Shopify because I couldn't even believe they were like cutting me off from offering me support. I don't know if I caught the chick on a bad day. I don't know if that's just simply my time ran out, but I was ready to pull the plug on Shopify after that because if you know me and if you've seen any of my other videos, customer service is literally the most crucial point of any business, any service, any platform, any anything. Now that I'm off of my rant, I think it might resurface later. I do want to talk about Wix customer service. It is wonderful. Honestly, I have never had an issue. I will send in email or chats, anything that they have available. I will send it in and within 24 hours, I have resolve. I've called them. They've called me back. I have had countless issues with Wix where I needed to get subscriptions set up or memberships or all these intricate things that I have built through my platform with them over the last five years as my business has grown and they have always taken care of it. So hands down, Wix absolutely crushed it on this. I hope I was just like a fluke with Shopify and that that doesn't happen to you. And I really hate that I still went forward with their platform for the simple fact that customer service is bad, but I'm going to get to it in my final synopsis of this whole video and the reason why you're watching. Okay guys, so drum roll blah, 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 blah. for my candle business. I went with Shopify and I'm going to share with you reasons why. To be clear, I also have three other websites run by Wix, so I'm okay. Wix, I'm not leaving you. I love you forever. And anytime I get a new client, nine times out of 10 with my marketing business, I'm building them a platform on Wix. I went with Shopify one because I wanted to try something new. And as a marketing professional, I wanted to be able to have really firsthand knowledge and access to why I would help a client who comes to me decide which platform is best for them. And I needed to get that firsthand knowledge and the best way that I could do that was with my candle business. The second reason is because the add-ons and the plugin apps that you can put on your Shopify account is powerful. Now, I do have to put a disclaimer in here. Wix has added so much in the years that I've used it, so it's not to say that they're not slowly coming up behind what Shopify has already offered, but if you're new to making websites, I want you to think of Shopify like your iPhone. And all of the things that you can add with it are those apps, and they are powerful. Um, reviews from people, you can get email plugins, you can get pop-up, I mean, it's, it's literally endless. So at the end of the day, I highly recommend if you're doing e-commerce and you have the wherewithal and bandwidth to really plug and chug and grind through Shopify, I think that's the way to go. Now you can get all of the same things with Wix. I will say the design functionality, the customer service, and the price is all wonderful with Wix. But again, that reporting, which is something that I absolutely love, is way, way, way better with Shopify. So hopefully this helps you guys decide which platform you want to use. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I always respond. If you're a candle maker, you can join the Candle Collective where we offer mentoring and consulting. If you're just a small business in any type of industry, whether it's product-based or service-based, please check out Mint Marketing. I'd love to help you guys and offer consultations all the time. 
and what I like to call business therapy. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and have a great rest of your day.